address this way for you, was <laughs> You know, I, I used to be the one who would never show up anywhere without a tie. That's right. I did shave for you today, though. Uh, Guy Molinari, you opened up. Were you talking about learning the computer so that you didn't know what MF meant? That, did I hear that? Did you all hear that? I don't know what MF means either. I suspect we've all been referred to it a number of times, some of us more than others. But I do know. I do know what the word thank you means. And as uh, I have the privilege of standing up here, looking out at this room. Uh, this is emblematic of what that word means, Congressman. It means we're here, we appreciate what you've done. I was sitting listening to uh, those that preceded me, and three thoughts came to mind. Um, the first is uh, the words uh, uttered by Oliver Wendell Holmes, who said, I, this is really for you, Bill. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Oliver Wendell Holmes said it's incumbent upon a man to live the action of his time, lest he be judged not to have lived at all. You've lived the action of your time, you've done it with passion, and your life is better off for that. The second thought that came to mind is something that probably many of you have heard me speak before, have heard me utter, because I use it quite often. And that is that if we can in our lifetime find the magic formula that I'm about to articulate, then we should consider ourselves blessed. And that formula is this. Outside of your love, the greatest gift you can give your fellow man is your labor. And if by chance you're able to marry those two, you're truly blessed and the people around you are blessed. And what Senator Lanzo articulated in terms of just scratching the surface of your accomplishments indicates to me that you've been able to marry love and labor. You're blessed for it, and we're blessed for it. And the third and final thought that comes to mind is that public service is the noblest of professions. I know you believe that. I believe that. It's also something that's in our blood. Uh, it takes many forms and many shapes. We may be doing something in one form today, taking a breather, doing it in another form tomorrow. And I trust that is the case for you because I know it's in your blood. So we look forward to your continued service to the public. We thank you. I thank you. It's a privilege knowing you. I look forward to continuing to work with you. And finally, I'd like to say that I wish, you know, that I could get this turnout at jury service. God bless you. <laughs>